of Vaca County. My name is Lauren Lundy. And my name is Rylan Mark. And today we're here to welcome you back to this edition of Have You Heard? On Friday the 20th, HBNN hosted our first open mic night. The event was a huge success. Thank you so much to all the participants and attendees. At the event, we recognized three of the many talented individuals who performed. Third place went to Brenna Scott and Sophia Walker. Second place, Chloe Rangel. And first place was awarded the Emmy Poll. On Wednesday the 25th, our HBN group traveled to Waco. We took a tour of the communications department at Baylor University and ended the night by touring the KWKT Waco Fox 44 station and watching the 6 o'clock news recorded live. Thank you so much to Baylor and KWKT Waco Fox 44 for this experience. On Wednesday the 1st, some of our HBN team traveled to Boston for the National Journalism Conference. During their time away, they will participate in national contests, attended various training sessions, meet with the industry professionals, and go on multiple college visits. Attention voters! Early voting is currently underway and is taking place at the Lavaca County Courthouse Annex and will end today, November 3rd. Fourteen propositions will be on the ballot. Official Election Day will be November 7th. Visit the Lavaca County website for more information regarding polling locations. While the football and Lady Brema cross country season continues, the Lady Brema volleyball season has come to a close. Let's go to Damari and Austin to hear details about our latest sporting events. Hi, I'm D-Man. Welcome to the sports section on Have You Heard? Well, I'll be covering your favorite Lavaca County teams. Today, I'll be recapping last week's game for both the Bremas and Lady Bremas. Our Brema boys are having a tremendous season this year. They are 6-2, but after the tough loss last week to Hitchcock, they are now 6-3. This week is, Lava is the Lavaca County Showdown against your Bremer boys and our neighbors, the Yoakum Bulldogs. This is the last home game of the season, so come out, be loud, and show your Bremer spirit. Our Lady Bremers have had a rough volleyball season this year, but they ended off the season with a win over Tidehaven. With that, it brings their season to a close, opening up the start of Lady Bremer basketball. Stay tuned for the upcoming basketball games and highlights. Cross Country ran in Corpus last Monday for that regional meet. Two girls advanced to the state meet. Elizabeth Folkman, placing 7th, and Juliet Davenport, who placed 13th. They are running Round Rock today at 1140. Come out and support. Thank you for tuning in into the sports on Have You Heard. Now, back to you, Rylan and Lauren. Thank you, Damarian, for that recap. We are so excited to cheer on our cross-country state participants and watch our Brema football team take on Yoakum. Man, I sure am enjoying this cooler weather. Let's go to Peyton Pasak to see if it continues. Good morning, Lubbock County. My name is Peyton Pasak, and here's the weather outlook for the next couple days. This weekend, we're looking at cool weather with highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s and lows in the upper 50s with a wind chill. Next week, we will also be looking at cool weather. Monday through Wednesday, we will be looking at sunny weather with highs in the low to mid 80s and lows in the lower 60s. Thursday through Sunday, we will have cloudy weather with highs in the lower 70s and lows in the mid 50s with wind chill. Have a great weekend, Bremas, and stay warm. Thank you for that weather update. I guess we'll have to wait a little longer for that fall weather to kick in. <laughs> Our FFA chapter recently competed at the Horizon District LDE contest. Let's go to Brett Baker and Peyton Matheson to hear the exciting results of this event. Good morning, Lavaca County. My name is Peyton Matheson. And my name is Brett Baker, and welcome back to Episode 5 of Ag in Your World, brought to you by the Hallettsville FFA and the Hallettsville Brayman News Network. The District LDE contest was on Friday, October 27th at Blinn College in Schulenburg. Hallettsville FFA won the LDE Sweepstakes banner. Congratulations to the teams that advanced. Ag Issues, first place. Public Relations, first place. Senior Skills, first place. Green Hand Skills, first place. Ag Advocacy, second place. Job Interview, Jake Ressler, second place. Senior Quiz, second place. Senior Spanish Creed, Camilla Ochella, second place. Green Hand Quiz, third place. Green Hand Chapter Conducting, third place. The teams not advancing are Radio Senior Chapter Conducting, Green Hand Creed, Senior Creed, but we wouldn't be more proud of our students who worked so hard for these placings. Additionally, the Area 11th LDE competition will be on Saturday, November 18th, which is under four weeks away. We know Hallettsville FFA will represent us well. The Hallettsville FFA Booster Club had its fundraiser meal on Monday, October 23rd. We sold 2,000 tickets. Thank you to everyone who helped. FFA members, our next FFA meeting is Tuesday, November 7th. 
Be there for show entries if you are showing an animal at the Houtsville Junior Livestock Show. Livestock exhibitors, you must attend a minimum of three out of the five meetings to be eligible for the Houtsville Junior Livestock Show in January. Then, six out of eight meetings to show the following year. And there are three official meetings left before the show. If you have any questions, you can always ask an FFA officer or an ag teacher. Don't forget, the second November meeting is a kickball tournament on Monday, November 13th. The sign-up sheet will be out soon. This will be a fun, competitive activity for our members we hope everyone will participate in. Every episode, we like to shine a light on our outstanding FFA members. This spotlight goes to Elle Mays, who is serving as the Houtsville FFA reporter. Elle is starting her third year as an FFA member and her first year as an officer. Elle participates on the skills team and poultry judging team. In fact, she advanced to state two years in a row a part of the skills team. She is a member of NHS, Library Committee, Student Council, and Academic UIL. We'll now close with the Ag News of the Week. Prairie View A&M University recently received a grant to study the use of hemp in animal feed. Industrial hemp lacks or contains very little THC, so there will be no effect on the animal's behavior. The USDA National Institute of Food and Agriculture awarded Dr. Nagus Kadane, Assistant Professor and Research Scientist in the Department of Agriculture, Nutrition, and Human Ecology, nearly $300,000 for his research. The study will be three years long and aims to see if hemp plants and byproducts can be an alternative feedstuff to reduce the amount of grain used. By exploring the potential of hemp as an alternative to traditional grain and animal feed, Dr. Kadane will be conducting research that not only addresses pressing environmental challenges, but also contributes to the advancement of animal nutrition. The study will be initially conducted on goats, but the results may allow all livestock to have hemp products in their feed. The researchers will focus on understanding the chemical composition and nutritional values of hemp extraction residues as an alternative feed for dairy and meat goats. Offering hemp biomass products as an alternative of animal feed for the livestock industry could open up a new commercial market for hemp and contribute to the economy. Thank you for tuning in to Ag in Your World, brought to you by the Hallettsville FFA. We hope that you return next episode airing on November 5th on Have You Heard. Now back to Lauren and Rylan. Thank you for that update. We are so proud of all of our participants and we want to wish them the best of luck at AREA. We want to say a special thank you to our sponsors. Edward Jones, Shamrock Movers, Lavaca Title Company, TDECU, CH Graphics, Foreverlast, Benedettini Cabinets, City Motors and Edna, Plum Perfect Plumbing, Texas Elite Therapy, and Judy Drozd. If you or your company are interested in sponsoring us, please contact our advisor, Christy Opiella, at 361-798-2242, extension 384. Once again, I'm Lauren Lundy. And I'm Rylan Mark. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Have You Heard. See, See you, you next time. time.